This video is going to explain how to use the make a table strategy to convert measurements. When we convert measurements, we're changing from one unit to another. So the word convert or conversions means change. When you're solving these types of problems, your math chart's going to be very important. So here I have a picture of a math chart, of a measurement chart. So we're going to look back at that here in a minute. So in this problem, Michael buys four gallons of milk, and the question asks how many quarts does he have? So let me, whoops. We are, he, we know that he has four gallons, and we want to find out how many quarts does he have. So we have to change or convert from gallons to quarts. So we're going to make a table. So first step is to figure out what we're changing from. So we're changing from gallons to quarts. And I'm just going to abbreviate. So step two is to use our math chart to figure out the rule for the table. So if we look at our math chart, we have to find gallons and quarts. So I want to look under liquid volume or capacity. And I see that one gallon equals four quarts. So on my table, one gallon is equal to four quarts. So my rule is that I take the number of gallons and I times it by four. So I can keep filling out my table. If I have two gallons, that's going to be eight quarts. Three gallons will be 12 quarts, and I actually need to continue it because I need to get to four gallons. Four gallons would be 16 quarts. So four gallons equals 16 quarts. When you set up your table, make sure that you put the right numbers under the right headings. So we're going from gallons to quarts. So we had to look at our chart and make sure we paid attention that one gallon is four quarts. And this tells us the first row in our table. Okay, and that's it. It's pretty simple.